In this video, we're going to cover adding joints into our inventory. Let's select the addition symbol at the top right of the page, and this will bring up our add new inventory item window. As you can see, our default category is going to be bulk flour. Let's start by clicking on the bulk flour and selecting flour prepackage from the dropdown. All of the fields we see in this window with the asterisk are going to be required to be filled out before we can add the flower package into our inventory. The first required field is our package tag number. If you are in a metric state, this will be required for reporting your sales to metric. If you're not in a metric state, we can leave this field blank. In this case, I'm going to add a package tag into this field. Now let's add our batch number and our batch date. Next, we're going to associate this item with a supplier. When I select the supplier, I'll have a drop down of different suppliers that have been added to the system. If you don't see the supplier you're looking for initially, begin typing the name in to populate that specific supplier. Next, we're going to select our strain name. Now, since these are joints, they are not governed by the prices in the price profiles we'll be able to set our specific price for the joint. Now, we're going to navigate to the bottom of the window to the Assign Inventory to Room section. I personally like to begin by selecting the Weight Unit option first. Once this has been selected, we're going to see all the different weights we can prepackage our flour into. At the far bottom will be our Joints option. As you can see, once joints have been selected, we will get more options. Flowhub gives us the flexibility to determine how much weight and flowers within the joint. This will allow us to create half gram pinners, one gram bones, or even a 10 gram Bob Marley joint. For this example, we're going to add one gram joints. Let's fill in the rest of the information in this modal. Now, one of our fields is gonna be the cost per unit this cost field is going to be the total cost of the gram of flour in the joint, the paper, the crutch, and any labor we'd want to include. Now let's select Save and Close, and we'll see this item populate in our inventory. If you're not seeing the item, make sure to select the Status All filter at the top, and then select In Store option from the dropdown. In summary, we selected the plus at the top right of the page, filled in the required fields, associated a quantity, and added an item into our inventory. Once you've completed this step, update this task status to done. If you need help, click the stuck button in your email or at mention us in the notes of this task.